The Bureau of Land Management has more land to recreate on than any other agency in the entire United States. The agency manages locations like the Lost Coast Trail, the Black Rock Desert Preserve, and even the Hudson Headwaters Forest Preserve, which are massive recreation destinations for people from all over the globe. In this video, I'm gonna go over six common types of park rangers that you're gonna see in the BLM, the type of work that they do, and locations you might expect to find them. Hi, I'm Danny, and this is Ecology Store Mode. As always, if you're looking for any resources that I mentioned in this video, go down to the links in the description. The first kind of ranger and the most common job posting that you're gonna see in the BLM is just the general park ranger. Within the BLM, that job title is the real generalist within the recreation world. They do anything from maintenance to interpretive work to working the front desks at any of the field offices. A lot of these positions are seasonal or start out at a GS4 level, so you actually don't need a bachelor's degree to get into this job. And this is a good way to get in if you have no real preference on the type of park ranger work you do. The convenient thing about this position is that it's located in every single field office that the BLM has, so anywhere you see that yellow land on the map, you're also going to see these jobs. The second kind of common ranger that you're going to see in the BLM is the wilderness ranger. The wilderness ranger is going to be somebody that spends one to two weeks out in the wilderness at a time doing ranger work. It could be checking permits, doing light maintenance, and generally just helping out people that are on high trafficked wilderness areas. A good example of this is thinking about places that have a lot of through traffic in the BLM, such as the Lost Coast or maybe the King Range. The third kind of ranger is going to be the OHV ranger, and if you're like me, and I used to not know what OHV even meant, I was from the East Coast, that just means off-highway vehicle. This job is going to do a lot of the normal recreation ranger work, but you're also going to be out there in areas that there's a lot of off-highway vehicle activity going on, and you're going to be responsible for doing a lot of the first response to a lot of the issues that happen on that park. Though this isn't something that I've seen everybody at all these locations do, at least a few people are generally going to be EMTBs because there's going to be vehicular accidents and other things going on. So if you want to be a first responder and you want to help out with off-highway vehicle park work, this is a great job for you. Some good examples are South Cal Mountain, the Imperial Dunes out in Southern California, and they do all the OHV in Barstow. And for some Fast and Furious trivia, that's where Roman Pierce gets picked up in the second movie. The next kind of ranger is going to be Park Ranger River Patrol, and this is going to be a person that works in swift water settings or any white water rafting kind of area. Before you can even apply to a lot of these jobs, they're going to want you to have experience doing swift water work or some sort of white water rafting using normal rafts and equipment that you're going to have to use on the job. This job isn't going to be too dissimilar from the OHV position, other than obviously the fact that it's going to be in the water rather than off-highway areas, which I guess you could just call a river off-highway. You're also going to be doing a lot of first response and rescue out of the water at this job, or at least that's going to be what a lot of your training is going to be based around. So if you like white water rafting, being on the water, and you want to be a first responder and just help people out having fun in the rivers out in the BLM land, this is a good job for you. You're going to really see a lot of these jobs out in California, Oregon, Colorado, places where there's a lot of whitewater rafting happening and it goes through BLM land. The fifth kind of ranger is going to be the interpretive rangers and those are the people that are responsible for helping communicate all of the natural and historical resources in a park to visitors. This job you can do anything from making signs that are informational to leading tours through the wilderness to going out and presenting leave no trace talks out in schools. And these jobs are going to be found at most every recreational site and field office. At locations where this specific job isn't around, it's going to be the park rangers that really take care of the work. And the last but definitely not least position on this list is going to be park ranger protection. Now these are going to be the police officers that are doing all that park ranger work and giving out citations within a park. As much as we'd love to live in a perfect world, the fact of the matter is on recreational lands, people just do kind of bad stuff occasionally. But this is a job for people that want to protect natural resources and actually have legal power to stop people doing things. As well as for the BLM, there's a very small amount of people that actually do the law enforcement ranger work. So if you're a person that does this and you have a lot of BLM land around, you're going to be responding to a lot of incidents and doing a lot of first response. And I'm pretty sure with maybe an exception out there that this position can be available at every single field office for the BLM. And now to get these jobs, obviously you're gonna go through USA Jobs and apply to seasonal or full-time jobs to begin with. If you're not having any luck with that, this is gonna be a couple places that you can look and maybe get around that. If you're young or in college, you can always apply to a conservation corps. A lot of these conservation corps work not only with BLM, but a lot of other agencies. A downside here is there's no guarantee if you're going to be helping out with fire, recreation, or something else. But there's a chance that by doing this work, you're going to be able to get a PLC status or public land core, and that's going to help you less competitively apply to ranger positions. And the next one is if you're really struggling for work, look through GBI or the SCA. I'll put links down below, and they have recreations positions 
posted all over the websites usually. And so if you're having trouble with OPM or just applying to the federal positions currently, that's a good place to look to really get you started and get some experience and money. I hope this video is helpful. If you like the video, it's gonna help a ton more people see the video. Subscribe to my page. I post content like this all the time and I hope you have a nice day.